Paladin. We've located the reactor. It's accessible through the Advanced Systems Division. Only, you can't reach it. The security override can only come from the Director's terminal. You'll need to access his quarters. Well done, Paladin. Looks like a path should be clear to the reactor. I didn't expect to but see I am that. happy to report that reinforcements have arrived. We got it working Thank without you. What's happened to you? Are you sick? Well, don't pretend to care now. You had your chance to help me. Then cast me aside instead. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? It's for the greater good. The Commonwealth deserves to determine its own fate. Spare me. You've spent time up there. You know as well as I that it's doomed. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Sean, if you help me, Fewer people will die. Will you? Why would I ever consider helping you? Help me. And we can try and minimize the casualties in all this. You want your people to survive, don't you? Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 90. Zero. Three. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just... leave me. Attention all personnel. Evacuation order issued. Authorization 1YR31. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation points. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your cooperation. 
moved on target.
Good work, Paladin. I think it's... Excuse Dr. me, Elder Max. Do copy? Our mission is complete. I need you to transport us out of here immediately. Time to go, Paladin. Dr. Ingram, it's time to teleport us out. Sorry, Elder, I would, but, well, this child showed up. He claims to be the Paladin's son, sir. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation point. Please, Dad, don't leave me here. I want to go with you. Why did you call me Dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. I'm not your father. Whoever told you that was lying. But you are. Nobody told me, I just know it. Why would you say you're not? Don't you love me anymore? I loved my son. My real son. You're not him. It's not fair to ask me that. What do you mean I'm not your son? You're just saying that so you can leave me here and not feel bad about it. I hate you! Please proceed to your assigned evacuation point. Thank you for your cooperation. I've got this covered, Paladin. Get to that reactor. All right, Ingram. Fire it up. Hang on. You're telling me you leave that kid here to die? He's your son. Evacuation order issued. Authorization. He's a sin thing, Rum. He's not really my son. Are you kidding me? The Institute made synths that look like children? I don't even know what to say. Except that they deserve what's coming to them. You're clear to go then. Ready? Absolutely. Let's get out of here. You got it, Paladin. I'm sending you to the detonation site. I'll set the relay to send the last of us to the Pridwin and make sure everyone is out. When that reactor goes up, this place will be nothing but a smoking crater full of rubble. Should be quite a sight. Looks like your work here is done, Paladin. Thank you for your cooperation. Please, Dad! Dr. Ingram has assured me that we're outside the blast radius. Press that button, and you not only defeat our enemy, you restore order and decency to the Commonwealth. It's time, Paladin. The Institute and their synth abominations must be eradicated.
can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Elder Maxon? You've done an exemplary job here, Paladin. Without your unwavering loyalty to our cause, this victory would never have been possible. I can't believe it. They're gone. The Institute's gone. Do you know what this means? You gonna make me guess? Have you ever known me to hold back information? It means no more kidnappings. No more sleepless nights terrified your neighbors plotting against you. No more fear. Thanks to you, we don't have to be afraid anymore. They don't have to be afraid thanks to us. I never could have done this by myself. True. But the Institute was around for a long time before you got here. Not anymore. Welcome to day one of the new Commonwealth. Elder. You've done an exemplary job here, Paladin. Without your unwavering loyalty to our cause, this victory would never have been possible. I did it for the people of the Commonwealth. You truly have become one of us, brother. The Institute has been wiped clean from the face of our world. It's time we close this chapter on the Commonwealth, and begin one anew. What do you mean, Elder? It means we still have a long road ahead if we're to ensure the safety of the Commonwealth and her people. But this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. Return to the Pridwin, and we'll decide what needs to be done.
Paladin, I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Of course, Captain. Very good, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions, both past and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve, but we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be serving with you. Thank you, both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad victorium, Sentinel. <laughs>